right, welcome back to Cricket for Americans. Nick here. Gabe. Ooh, that was a quick one. And we are here for another reaction. We are looking at a request, a Patreon request from DePonkar. Thank you so much, DePonkar, for being a Patreon. Longtime supporter of Foreign Reviews and Cricket for Americans. If you want to check out what it's like to be a Patreon and get your request in, look down below to see how that's done. We are looking at a request of his where he wants us to look at this short little clip on Capital Dev. Capital Dev obviously was the captain of the 1983 World Cup winning India India winning team. And this guy was an all-rounder, so he could bowl, he could bat. And I think, if I remember correctly, yes, this is a clip of him bowling. Gabe, <laughs> is there anything more valuable than an all-rounder that can have the potential to excel at both sides in cricket? Uh, you know what? No. I, 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 I'll be honest with you. And when you got an all rounder that can do both, you know what I mean. And, and I'm thinking most recently, um, oh, in the India, um, Australia series, we saw how valuable. Oh wow, it, it's slipping my. Think of Jadeja. Uh, the not Indian the, side or the Australia side? No, no, the Indian side. Jadeja was valuable, but so was um, oh, the bowler from um, from the Capitals, from the Capitals. Uh, he took. A lot of wickets. I can't remember. Oh, Ashwin. Ashwin. Ashwin was, okay? Yeah. And I'm like, man, you know, uh, 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 even on the Australia side, right? You talk about the tail wagging. Well, you know what? If it wasn't for the 20 runs that you ended up getting out of out of Gary, Gary, you know what I'm saying? Like, nice. you know, it, it, it matters. It matters, you know? So uh, some of my favorite all-rounders right now, you know, I love me some Marcus Stoinis. My man is yoked. When I tell you yoked, yoked. Of course. Did you see what your boy did the other night, Marcus Stoinis? No, no, no. 97 no. not out. Ooh, Marcus Stoinis. You know, I, I love me some Jason Holder from the Caribbean. My man Jason Holder was a beast in the IPL. They brought him in, and I don't think that – he won, what, five games in a row? Was it five games in a row that, that he helped win? <laughs> uh, seemed uh, like uh, that, right? It, it, it was, he, the guy was a monster, man. And, of course – the man, the myth, the legend, the number one all-rounder in the world. Hate to say it, Sir Ben Stokes. Sir Ben Stokes. I mean, they're valuable. I, I mean, Ben Stokes, I remember in that, uh, um, to, um, not the tournament, but in the, the tour, uh, West Indies in, in, in England, okay, he had games where he did it with the bat, 147. He had games where he did it with the ball, got a, a, a Pfeiffer. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, 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 like if you're not an all-rounder, and you're a batsman, you better bat well. Don't go down for a duck. Don't go down for five. You're, you know what I mean? You're in trouble, cousin. And if you're a bowler, you know, you better bowl well. You better go get some wickets. Don't get blown up or hootied, you know what I mean, out there. But when you're an all-rounder, you can impact the game in, 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 in both facets. When you can do it both ways, it's amazing. But even if you don't do it with the bat, you can do it with the ball. And that's why I think they're so valuable. They're absolutely valuable. In baseball, if you have a left-handed pitcher, he's going to take the spot of probably a better, more accurate right-handed pitcher because you need that kind of balance when you are attacking the opposition. If you're a switch hitter in baseball, I don't think it's as concrete that you'll definitely get a spot, but it definitely helps with those matchups. But if you have a guy, like let's say we have 14 really good guys on our nation's squad and we're trying to will it down to 11. And you leave the all-rounder off because he's not the best bowler, he's not the best batsman, but he's adequate at both. And you lose that first couple test matches in that series, you're telling me they're not going to go right to that all-rounder the next one and say, we could have done it for a few more wickets, or we could have done it for another 20 or 30 runs in the tail. Give me a break. So you got always got that opportunity where if, you know, if you're going down on the chart, so to speak, and you're not going up with the bullet, it's not going to be too long before that phone call is like, okay, we need the all-rounder skills. And if you think about it, there's really not a lot of all-rounders on each squad's roster, right? One, maybe two? No, no, no. You got guys that can do both, 
But right. you know, you a don't got guys that are true all rounders, like a Sam I, Kerr in the IPL, right? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, that's a true all rounder. It, it's funny, right? In the Australia game, I'm watching the game, uh, uh, Australia versus India, and Australia was so bad that in the very last over, they throw on the second to last over, they throw out Mar uh, 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 Marnish Lovish uh, 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 Lovishank, and when they're like Lovishank's bowling, oh, we know it's over now. So you know what I mean? Like, like. Yeah, can he bowl? Yes. Does that make him an all rounder? No. All right, let's just be real. So yeah, you know, sometimes those, those throwaway innings that you'll give to a guy, but just because a guy can bowl doesn't make him a all rounder. Is he a legit all rounder? Can he get wickets? Is he a scout taker cousin? You know what I mean? Oh. <laughs> all right. So we have talked enough. I know it's coming on this video in the comment section. Someone's going to say the minute mark that we finally get to it. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's coming. But we are going to check this out. This video is called Capital Dev Three Unplayable Deliveries in a Row. Owns Australia. Two wickets of G. Ooh, does this mean a hat trick maybe? Or maybe one was to fit a little bit? We'll have to check this out. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And in three, two, one. Oh, he's oh, you can hear that one. Ooh, that's a magnificent delivery. <laughs> I like, like the casual, like slow motion really celebration. Really that was nice. That. He's got through the defenses of one of the best batsmen in the world. Such a respectful celebration. Yeah, it was. And so the Indians have struck early on. Oh, this is one of our. On this, this is a Robolinda video. Nice. Well, it's taken an extra good delivery to get an extra good batsman out here. The in swing of the turn. Oh ball. man, look at that! Swung in quite that well. is unplayable. Through between bat and pad, and it's just wow. Off stump. Dev is very it's like shooting, hitting a mark the size of a, the width of a piece of paper or something. You got to be kidding me. Oh, that was border yes, too. Uh, Dee Jones, the late great, matches, the legend. Cricket of forty-six. He's had a tremendous start to the summer. Oh, he's got him off. No, he hasn't. Ooh. I tell you what, this is a different ball game. This Test cricket. Oh, he scored two forty. Thought he had. Look at Dean Jones, the hair girl. Shield cricket so far this season, and he was very nearly out first ball. Well, Alan Border's delivery was a good one. This is a fair delivery to get first up. Oh, swung very late and kept going off the wicket. Surprise! That what wasn't a, at least an edge. Jones, what a that, tough ball there, everything dude. Everything going in all directions. It's just missed the outside edge and it's just missed off stump. And Capital Dev can't believe it. What a delivery! Very next ball. I mean, he made the adjustment of like half an inch closer to the stumps. That's what, he, that's what got it. Wow. That's brutal. Goodness. First of all, he's got Alan Border with one that swung back into him between Oof. bat and pad. Has taken the bail off off stump. Then Dean Jones has come and played and missed the first one. He played and missed the second one. Oh, and right he, the gate. he did well. I don't think he saw it too well because, I mean, he was relatively close, but not as close as you usually see these batsmen trying to protect. Well, that's the end of Dean Jones. He had too big of a gap between his leg and his bat. Order and Jones in quick succession. Jones out for a duck. I can see why that was requested there, Mr. Gabes. So I got a question for you here. You think these, because I, I mentioned the gap between the leg and the bat for Dean Jones. Do you think that these batsmen practice, you know, kind of go swinging it and making sure that their bat gets really close to their legs so there's no gap in between? Do you think they practice that? You know what? That's a good question. I have no idea. Um, I can't even uh, equate. Man, that is such a something I never thought about because of the different equipment. Like there's certain things in baseball you would practice, you know what I'm saying? From short hops uh, uh, to if you're, you know, if you're catching, you know, your pop time, you know, a ball in the dirt throwing, you know what I mean? Like, but that I don't think like, because you got to think about your pad and you got to think about your bat, you know what I'm saying? So that's a really, really good question. I will tell you this, I can guarantee you the bowlers practice that all the time. And one of the things that I, 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 uh, I actually saw in one of the videos, I can't remember, is that they had a silhouette, a silhouette 
made out of like cardboard or or wood or whatever. And you've seen them in mo- in the movie Major League, where you know yeah. uh, 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 we actually use those because we literally have the pitchers up there and, and say you cannot get on the mound till you can't you can throw and not hit this this person. You know what I mean? You not you don't want a real life person up there taking you know, hits, cousin, especially when a guy throws gas, you know what I mean? So that's how you learn to refine your skills. And, and, you know, that's why Nick and people don't understand in baseball when they're like, oh, I just got away from him. It's intentional. Right now, Trey could throw strikes blindfolded, bro. And he's only 16. Blindfolded. These guys, when they hit somebody, unless it's a cold night or it slips or something like that, it's intentional. Every single time they hit someone, it's intentional. That's how good these guys are. Remember, we saw Nathan Lyon the other day and in and, and the and test, and he was bowling. I forget against who, and they showed how he hit the same mark, like twelve deliveries out of fourteen, like the same spot, bro. They do it over and over and over again. These guys could do it with their eyes blindfolded. They they know how many paces they take. They know where to release it. These guys are absolute pros. So I guarantee you, there's that kind of thing where. For bowlers specifically to hit your spot, you you know you practice with with, but not I don't know with a batsman to to, to see okay how much space like just the mechanics have? of where to bend the elbow. The thing that's interesting to me, and this is where maybe the comment section is just going to say, well, Nick, you know, you just you hope for the best, or you can't pl- think that way. But when you got your legs blocking and your bat blocking, if it hits your legs, it's lbw. Like if it's in that impact line, so. Right. I mean, Dean Jones's legs were completely covering the stumps, and then he had his bat. Too much of a gap. I'm curious because too many times I see like it's the gap is so small, so minuscule, and sometimes it sneaks in there. I'd be willing to bet that they do practice that. As far as your comment about the accuracy and pitchers and Trey, I believe that there are a lot of pitchers that can hit their mark every single time, but not everyone's built that way. You hear about you know wild thing either in the movie or in real life. The guy who gave up the game winning home run to Joe Carter, uh, Mitch Williams in in the ninety three World Series, he was called wild thing. Some of these guys have such good stuff, but they're not always accurate with it. You know, think about Randy Johnson and John Cruck, right? Talk about the Phillies. Like, I don't think he was trying to hit a bird or something. Sometimes you have those freak accidents, but you. some guys like Greg Maddox or whatever, they're so accurate. I mean, it's not even funny. You can put a, a quarter on someone's back and bend over, and they'll knock that quarter off because they're so pinpoint accurate. But anyways, Capital Dev, this guy, I mean, he was a captain for a reason. This guy, not only obviously can he bowl and he can bat, but he seems like he has such like a a friendly, jovial, yes. easygoing disposition, yes. right? Yes. That was probably the friendliest celebration I have ever seen for taking a wicket. Because, I mean, you know, most guys are, ah, they're yelling. They're all, you know, my, my man Rabada, my man Katra, you know what I'm saying? You know, Archer, they, everybody gets punked. He was, like, just so, yeah, I guess jovial is the word. So, like, even as a batsman, Dean Jones can't be mad. You know what I mean? He doesn't show you up, man. You know what I mean? Dude, it's crazy. I love it though, because I always I always say, you know, in the NFL, when a guy gets a sack, but he couldn't get through the entire game and he finally gets a sack in the fourth quarter when nobody cares anymore, and his celebration goes on for five minutes. I always say, act like you've been there before. Act right. like you've done it before. And I love that from Capital Dev. Guys, let us know what your thoughts are on this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks for checking us out. And until next time. That's six friends.